Okay, so today we're going to go over email tracking. Every cPanel has a tracking capability because you are running your full domain and your full transactional emails through the cPanel. So any cPanel that you use, it doesn't matter what the host, they all have email tracking. You can either call the host and they can do it for you, but here is a way to do it yourself. So you're going to click on cPanel. And when cPanel opens up, you can either search tracking on the top or you can go under email and tracking is right here. But in case you're looking for it, you're going to just put tracking delivery. So you're going to go in here and let's just say you send an email to somebody and they said they did not receive it or they send an email to you and you don't show it. So this is basically your log, your server, your backend. So in this example, uh, we are going to look at an email that was sent that they said they did not receive. So we're going to do Capitola Dental at Gmail. I'm gonna check all the boxes because I wanna know everything that's been showing on here. And I wanna show all, anything that's been blocked, anything that's failed, and then I can look further. So I'm gonna run this report. And as you can see, when I run that report, it's basically telling me that this user on this time sent to this recipient and the email server in motion got a an alarm or an alert from gmail saying yes please drop the mail off and this will actually tell you that it was delivered successfully to that location it came from this account this is where it was sent from it was sent at this time sender ip was this authentication was great it went to this person when it arrived at Gmail, it verified that there weren't any viruses or alerts, so it accepted it. And it literally got to this email at this IP address. And as you can see, that's the size of the message, and it was accepted successfully. The, this shows the email was delivered successfully. If it's not delivered successfully, it will tell you why in the delivery user and the delivery information. It'll say, due to spam, due to something, it'll give you some information here of why it was not delivered. So that's kind of how you check to make sure that any emails that have been sent out have been, you know, have been received. Uh, even if you did one to the internal domain, technology.com. If you do another one here, you can see the user sending to this person and this person actually receiving the messages. Now here is a bounce back because it looks like it came from a gray list. So something came in from garbage at em3594 at autonomous.ai. So that tried to send to that user and it was obviously blocked. Uh, you can go in here and you can see on here why the defer was because that email that sent to that user was actually on a gray list. There's, there's blacklist, gray list, and you want to be on a white list always. But the server, internal server here at Aptos, rejected that for the reason. And that reason being that it saw it came from a spam email, so it blocked it. And this way you know that that's the reason. Now, if you were going to see an email address that was legit, maybe, um, let's just say, let's just say Kayla at Spanktronics was blocked for whatever the reason. Um, a lot of the reasons is because the people's email accounts have what we call bad SPF or bad security at DKIMs, DMARCs, et cetera. So those can be seen by the host and the host can allow this person to come in um, by whitelisting that email address. You could do it yourself. You can tell the host to do it, but most likely you can tell the host to just whitelist the entire domain so this user can be accepted. In this case, this person is accepted, but in cases of like this one, if this was a legit email that needed to come in, one, they would have to fix things on their site and get themselves off the gray list, nothing related to you. You would just need to provide that information to that user sending it to you. Um, or you can tell the host to whitelist their domain, which would be this one. But as we know, this is garbage. This is why it looks like that AI 
a garbage email is trying to come into this user, which is not allowed. So, okay, let me know if you have any questions.